The biggest lake in Minneapolis is one step closer to losing its name. The park board is expected to vote any time now to approve changing the name of Lake Calhoun. The off and on conversation gained steam in 2015 after a mass shooting at an African American church in South Carolina. Lake Calhoun is named after John Calhoun, a proponent of slavery who helped bring Fort Snelling to Minnesota. Tonight, the park board is voting to recommend restoring the native name. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield joins us now. She's at Lake Calhoun. And so, Susan Elizabeth, what does this vote mean? Well, the vote's supposed to happen any minute. I'm waiting to get a text here and find out what happens. But the thing is, it doesn't mean if it passes that all of a sudden Lake Calhoun won't be called Lake Calhoun. It would still have to go through several layers of government. But the supporters of this say that this would be a first step and a very important one. Whether it's day or night, hot or cold, a lake so many know by name could get a new one. Bidet Makaska. That was the native Dakota name Park Commissioner Brad Bourne is trying to get restored. Changing or restoring the, uh, restoring the indigenous name and, and removing, removing that scar doesn't hurt anybody and it makes multiple segments of our community come together. He says the name Calhoun represents slavery and does not represent Minneapolis. Former Park Superintendent Mary Merrill agrees. It's just such an insulting thing to have this beautiful jewel in our park system named for someone who really uh, was a slave holder, believed in slavery, fought for it. But not everyone is on board. I think it's a ridiculous idea. Uh, we're running away from our history and we shouldn't be doing that. There's lessons to be learned from it. Some lake goers say they didn't even know the John Calhoun connection and a name change won't change society. I think it's just cosmetic attempts to make things better. And I think there's real concrete things we could probably do. Others say they'll keep working till this well-known lake is known as something else. It's gonna be an even more wonderful place than it currently is. And it won't have any stain on it at all. We'll have washed away that stain. Now, I also spoke with a member of the Dakota Nation. They've been fighting this for years. They want the name Calhoun to completely go away, and they want the lake to just be known as Bidet Makaska. That is the goal for them. Now, it's not easy, as you can tell, to change the name of a lake. Heather Brown is going to break down that process for you tonight at 10 on Good Question. Uh, Susan Elizabeth, I'm just getting some word now that the vote has just passed. The vote has passed. Yes. Well, it was expected to. Yes. So now we know that step has happened. All right. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth.